Katana is an amazing application. Over the past couple of months, it has become one of my favorite apps of all time. It's the only app that I've found that really allows me to unify knowledge and thoughts and notes with tasks and project management seamlessly. Well, almost seamlessly. There are a couple of problems. After all, it is still early in Tana's life cycle, and there's lots of development still to come. One of the big ones is handling sequential tasks. You know, you need to complete task A before you can start on task B. And that's just something that really isn't well handled in Tana just yet. I found a solution which works pretty well for me, and I can't wait to show it to you. So let's go over to the computer. My productivity in Tana is really centered around my daily node page. Whenever I go to that page, I want to see things that can be actively worked on right now. It's not where I go to to manage projects and to plan things out for the future. It's where I go to see what needs to be done now. What can I do now? For the purposes of this demo, I've simplified it to a single available task search. All this does is go through my graph and pulls in all tasks that aren't yet done and aren't deferred to a later date and time. This is the center of my daily node page. I can pull from it something I wanna work on right now, I can check it off, and that task disappears from that search. And this allows me to really focus on what is available to be done right now, actionable items only. The problem with this comes with sequential tasks. So say I have this task list where each item can only be started when the previous one has been finished. Well, if I follow my usual system and mark all these as tasks, well, they'll all show up in my available task search. I really wanna filter that out to only show the first one. To make this work, I've come up with a system that relies on just two additional Tana super tags in addition to the task. Let's go and look at those now. Let's start with the task tag because that is the root of my entire productivity system. It really has only three fields, but you know what? None of those are relevant for what I'm about to show you today. So we'll skip those and save them for a future video. Instead, let's jump to sequential task, which inherits from the task tag, and it adds one single field, and that is next task. Next task is an instant field that says it has to be an instance of the type task. Pretty simple, straightforward. The final important tag is the deferred tag, and all that is is a tag that I add to something if I want to defer the item to later. It's something that I don't want to see again until the deferred date. Now, I've piggybacked on this tag to make my task system work. So what happens when I have sequential tasks is I'll just go through, I'll highlight them all, and I'll add a new tag. In this case, it's going to be a sequential task tag. Boom, like that, you'll notice they now all appear in available tasks. That's okay, we're not done with the setup yet. The next thing I do is set the next task field for each of these. Now, this is a bit tedious, but it really doesn't take too long, and really I don't have that many projects which require sequential tasks. To make this work, I just copy the node from the next item in the list and paste it in. Boom. Now, technically, task five is not sequential task, so I could just make this a plain task, but for ease and convenience, I'll just leave it listed as a sequential task. I close all those up and you'll notice they're still appearing here. So what do I do? Well, I'll just go through, highlight all of them, and I'll add new tag. This time, it will be the deferred tag. And boom, they disappear from my available tasks query because anything that is marked deferred is not shown in this query. And just like that, I have the system set up where I only see the task that is available for me to work on at any given time. Let's talk about how I actually go through this in practice though and use it when I'm completing the tasks on a daily basis. Well, as I'm going through, say I finish up task one and I go to mark it off. Well, I'll see it's blue and marked with the sequential task tag. This is just a mental reminder to myself that, hey, this is a sequential task. It's the first in an order of operations. There's something to be done afterwards. And really, this is the only reason why I haven't added next task as a field to the task tag itself. I need that mental reminder to myself to perform the next step. If and when the build title from fields feature gets a little bit more robust and I can do some optional things like say, hey, if next task is defined, then add a little downward arrow to it or something like that, only if next task is defined and has something set there, then I'll just merge this back into the task tag. But until then, I keep it as a separate tag. So as I was saying, I go to mark this done, but since it's a sequential task, I first open it up, go through here and remove the deferred tag because task two is no longer deferred. It can be worked on, then I mark off task one. And this is how I work through the sequential tasks. Boom, just like that. Now, obviously I usually don't go through and do them one at a time like this. Uh, instead, it's over the course of a couple of days and that's really the reason I set up the system. Uh, the one little hang up here is this task five. Remember, it isn't a sequential task. There isn't a next task defined. So if I get to a blank next task, I assume that's the end of my cycle. And if I need that really mental reminder, I would go through and I'd actually change this to be a task, not a sequential task. But like I said, I add the sequential tasks because it's easier to add them all in bulk. 
And that's it. That's how I work through sequential tasks in Tana while focusing everything to only really bring to my attention the things that I can work on right now at this moment. Now, you may be wondering about the deferred tag and how this deferred until comes into play and where I'll see that because they'll never show up in this available task search. Well, that's a separate search that I also have on my daily node, but it's not really the point of this video. I hope this helped you out. I hope you learned something. I'm planning on doing quite a few of these Tana Tips videos in the future, probably not weekly, but if there's anything in particular that you'd like me to talk about and just explain how I have solved problems in Tana, let me know in the comments down below. Till next time, bye.